We're gonna head out, head down here. We're gonna power it on. Once you got everything unpacked and ready to go, we're gonna wait for this uh, screen to power up. Once it's powered up, you want to first thing you want to do is go ahead and hit the emergency button and then twist it to release it. And then usually when it powers up, it it takes it a second for it to get its bearings. So let's wait a little bit until it starts flashing again. Okay, there you go. Now it's processed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the uppercase. The password is HTG. And you can change it here if you want to change it, right? But that is the that is the password it comes with. First, and then next step you want to do is you're going to double tap this home button. It's going to home. It's going to find its home position. The homing is always slow just for safety reasons. Okay, perfect. It's homed. Now we can go ahead and hit this button that says continuous mode. If you don't do that, when you go to hit this, it, it, it'll just take tiny little steps. The motors and you won't really be able to move. So we want to hit it continuous mode. That You want to see this flashing red. We'll go ahead and speed it up. And then you can go ahead and start moving it. You can jog it back. There you go. So you got your Z axis here, which you know. You got your Z axis here. Your X. And you got your program MDI. So you're gonna load here. You're gonna find your. This isn't an actual program for this tube cutter, but it's just to give you an example. So you're gonna. Go in here and select whatever program you have, and you go back here. What you're actually going to do is first you're going to bring it here to the end. Bring it to the end where your starting point is. And you're going to zero all the axes, and you're going to select your select your program. Okay, selected program F2, and then here you got your overrides if you want it to cut slower and faster. And overrides plasmas you got you can do your your piercing height, you can set it, the cutting height, everything, you can adjust that, but you will usually have to do that in sheet cam. And then, uh, yeah, and then you got your overrides here, and then you'll hit start. And then it'll, I'm just going to go ahead and pause it, because it's not the actual program that we're running right now. But, this gives you an idea of the, the setup, the start, so it's really simple. 